Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and today after hundreds of requests I've heard you we're going to make a Fulton Our Stars cake and this one is an ice cream cake and the great thing about that is you can make it up to a month ahead and keep it in the freezer so there's no stress right before your party. The first thing we're going to do is make a soft ganache and to do that melt together your cream and chocolate and you can do that in a microwave or over a double boiler. I'm using a mix of milk and dark chocolate which is how I like my ganache and for all the recipe quantities go to this week's recipe blog post on howtocookthat.net. There's a link in the description just below this video. Keep stirring it until it's silky smooth and then place it in a plastic bag and seal it and spread the ganache out so it will cool down quickly. To make this even more delicious, choose six of your favourite chocolate bars and chop them into small pieces. I'm using Mars, Boost and Caramello. I know you get different chocolate bars all over the world, so you choose what you have where you are. I must confess, I haven't seen the Fault in Our Stars movie. I think it would make me cry too much. Both of my husband's parents died from cancer and one of my immediate family members has just gone through surgery and chemo this year, but they're doing really well, but I just don't want to put myself through that movie right now. If you have chosen sticky caramel chocolates, pull the pieces apart so you don't just have one big blob. And what do you think? Did you cry when you read the book? Did you cry when you went to the movie? It's pretty sad. Anyway, next, of course, we want some ice cream. You can make your own or you can just buy a big tub, but we're going to need it to be softened. And you can leave it out for hours or you can microwave it on high for 30 seconds. Take out all the softened bits and then microwave it again. We don't want it completely liquid and melted. We just want it softened. Once you have three quarters of the ice cream in your bowl, then add your chocolates and stir them through well. Now take a container the shape you want your ice cream cake to be, round and tall looks best, and then pour it all in. Grab the ganache that we made earlier and cut the corner off the bag and squirt some in. Use a spatula to gently fold it through. Now, if you overmix here, you'll end up with chocolate flavoured ice cream, which is not what we're after. We just want streaks of ganache in your slices. Add some more ganache and then some extra ice cream on top and fold it through. Adding this extra ice cream helps to keep the cake softer so it's going to be easier to cut at the end. Repeat that, adding enough ice cream to get right to the top. And if you want to here, you can add brownie or a cake base, but I'm opting just to keep it all ice cream. Smooth the base off and then put that in the freezer to firm up for at least four hours. Overnight would be ideal. While it's in the freezer, we can make the decoration to go on top. You'll need to print out the book cover and cut out the clouds. And if you go to this week's recipe blog post, I've actually put a PDF in the size that I'm using here so you can print it out from there. To make our clouds, roll out some black fondant and cut around the template. As always, I suggest you buy your black fondant rather than trying to make it so that you don't end up with grey. Now for the white, cut around the cloud shape, but don't cut the top the exact shape. Cut it out like it's a full cloud. And did you know that the Fault in Our Stars author, John Green, is actually a YouTuber? He runs the YouTube channel Vlog Brothers with his brother, Hank. Okay, Hank, I just did all of those press interviews and now I'm going to go into the movie. Look, 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 look. That's the movie. The reviews have been amazing and according to Rotten Tomatoes, 93% of people who've seen it liked it. So just real quickly. And the two of them are also the ones behind a bunch of other YouTube channels and they also started VidCon. These guys are busy. Now, mark just above where the cloud edge is so you've got a guide to where it has to go and then add the black cloud back on top. For the words, put some black and white fondant in two bowls and mix each with a little bit of water. Now, you're not going to need much here but you do need to squash it down using the back of your spoon and keep doing that so that you can get the fondant to mix with the water and get out all the lumps because we need it totally smooth for piping. Place it into a plastic bag and push it all into one corner, twist the top so it doesn't spill out and then cut off a tiny corner and check that you can pipe a nice line like this. Then starting with the white, pipe on the question mark. It's a good life, Hazel Grace. Okay. Okay. Then the Y, A, K, and of course O, and then repeat that without the question mark in the black onto the white cloud. Now just leave that uncovered at room temperature to firm up. 
Fill your sink with hot tap water and place your ice cream container into it. We just want to melt a small layer on the outside so that we can get it out of the container. Place some foil on the bench to make it easier to clean up the mess and tip over your container. You're going to need to use a knife to create a small channel on one side so the air can get in, otherwise you've got a vacuum and you won't be able to get it out. Let the melted ice cream drip off the sides and then transfer it onto your serving plate and put it back in the freezer to firm up that outside layer again. That'll take at least an hour. Now to make our tifios blue, whip together your cream and blue food colouring. You can also add a little icing sugar to sweeten it if you like. Things taste less sweet when they're frozen, so keep that in mind and make it a little sweeter than you're after. You don't want to over whip your cream. If you do, it'll start to turn into butter and go lumpy. So whip it until it's just soft but holds its shape. Pile three quarters of the cream on top and then spread it out so it goes over the sides and then smooth it around the sides. You need to work as quickly as you can here, obviously, otherwise your ice cream is going to melt. And then place the ice cream back into the freezer for an hour or so so that that layer can firm up and put the remaining cream in the fridge. It doesn't matter if this one's not exactly perfect at this stage because we're going to add that extra cream and smooth it in a minute. Now that that's firm on the outside, we can spread some of the extra cream, like I said, over the top and get a nice smooth cake shape. I'm using an icing comb to put a pattern around the edge of the cake and you do that just by placing it on the side, resting it on the base of the plate and then spinning the plate around. If you don't have one, you can just use a knife to put a pattern or just leave it smooth. It's up to you. Take the rest of your cream, put it into a piping bag fitted with a star-shaped tip and pipe around the bottom edge. Just squeeze, stop and pull up. Squeeze, stop and pull up and keep that going the whole way around. Repeat that around the top edge too so you have a nice defined circle. Then you guessed it, put it back in the freezer to firm up again. On party day, take the cake out of the freezer, peel the non-stick baking paper off the back of the fondant and place your logo on the top of the ice cream cake in the middle. If you are making your ice cream cakes ahead of time, then make sure once the cream has firmed up that you double coat it in plastic wrap so that it doesn't dry out. To cut an ice cream cake, you will need two sharp knives and a jug of hot water and you have the two so you can swap one into the hot water while you're cutting with the other. Cut out a slice and then serve it up and you get the ice cream mixed with these really nice chunks of chocolate ganache and chocolate bars mixed all through it. It's very rich and decadent. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to How to Cook That for more cakes, chocolate and desserts. Put all your requests in the comments below and don't forget to thumbs up and share. Have a great week and I'll see you on Friday. Oh, how baby, I love you. to say